Today's video, we're going to be checking out the new release, Jack's Pacific Mega Man, as we have a look at the Mega Man vs. Guts Man set. Created by Dr. Light, Mega Man volunteers to defeat the six robot masters of the nefarious Dr. Wily that are causing havoc in the city. Each figure set includes two articulated double-sided 8-bit figures with swappable weapon accessories. Collect them all to fully power up Mega Man. Before we do anything, let's figure out how tall the figure stands. So, Mega Man in his green outfits, having just defeated Bomber Man. Bomb Man is 2.4 inches in height in centimeters. That works out to be 6.2 centimeters. Now, to no surprise, I'm sure you can guess that Guts Man is a little bit taller than Mega Man, but just by how much? Let's find out. Putting the tape measure next to Guts Man at the top of his head. There we go. Gutsman stands at 3.6 inches, or in centimeters, 9.3 centimeters in height. The figures come with some accessories, and they also come with this really neat background. Just move the figures out of the way and move their accessories out of the way. Jack Pacific has also included, inside the packaging, a cardboard recreation of the Gutsman uh, the actual final battle between Mega Man and Guts Man. It's just done on cardboard, and you can see the back of it right there. But it's a really nice, nice, neat way of displaying the figures. Here you can see Mega Man's life bar, and next to that is Guts Man's life bar. And you can then take the figures, and not knock everything over, but you can take the figures and you can put them inside the cardboard display. Which I think is really neat. It would be easy to guess that they're going to do this with all the other two-pack sets that they've got slated for this really neat 8-bit release. Just to also show you the packaging. Let's just move everything out of the way. Here's the back of the packaging. Here are the other sets that they've released or planning to release. The Mega Man vs. Guts Man that we're looking at today. The Mega Man vs. Cut Man. The Mega Man vs. Elec Man. And the Mega Man vs. Fire Man. Ironically enough... We have Green Mega Man here, having defeated Bomb Man. Bomb Man is not one of the uh, Robot Masters released just yet, so hopefully we'll get a Bomb Man at some point as well. But I think that's really, really clever that they've given you the cardboard backs uh, diorama here, that you can display each of the individual figures. Nice work. I like that. Let's take the figures out, and we'll move that just out of the way. The figures come with their own corresponding weapons. Bam, uh, bomb the bomb included the hyper bomb i believe it's called the hyper bomb when mega man the blue bomber defeats bomb man you can take the bomb and attach it see there's a little connector point right there and you can just attach it to mega man's hand like that mega man also does have posability you can move his arm up and down so you can make it look as if he's throwing the bomb gutman on the other hand comes with part of the rubble the boulders that he picks up and and hauls over at Mega Man. Here it's a little bit smaller represented instead of the big, more bulbous uh, boulder that he ends up throwing in the game, but it's a nice little added touch that Jax would include with these figures. The neat thing about it though is that you can take the weapons and you can swap them. So if you want to take the Hyper Bomb out, you can replace it then with Guts Man's. Mega Man would, of course, be picking this up and throwing it, but he wouldn't be necessarily this color, but you get what is happening here. You get the option that you can swap these weapons out, and that's a really neat-looking touch. If you wanted to, you can give Gutman the bomb if you wanted to, even though he's not using it in the game. And still, again, you can swap the weapons out. I like that a lot. So let's have a look at these individual figures. Two things that I am absolutely in love with is the fact that it's Mega Man for starters, because Mega Man was one of my go-to games playing as a kid. I played, I must have played Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3 until those cartridges didn't work anymore. Of course, I'm being exaggerating a little bit, but you know where I'm going with this. 
Uh, I didn't play Mega Man 1 as much because I did find Mega Man 1 to be a trickier, harder game to play when I was 8, 10 years old. But still absolutely adore Mega Man. And I also love the fact that Jax would give them the two-dimensional, or in this case, a three-dimensional pixelized look. Um, especially for the fact that they would give you two sides to it, simply not just giving you the one side and then cheaping out and just giving you a black back surface. Can't remember who had done that before. I think it actually might have been Jax that had given us standalone Mario characters, which was fine for what it was, but there was unfortunately no finish to it. It was completely, it was just a black, I think it was just a black background. Here, though, we've got Mega Man featured on both sides, which also means that when you are displaying them with the supplied cardboard display, you can either have Mega Man on this side, or you can also have Mega Man on this side. The only thing with the cardboard is the figures do sometimes slide on them because they have very slick, uh, smooth plastic. The same thing can be said for a Bomb Man, or Guts Man, let me just move this back for a second. Guts Man considerably larger than uh, Mega Man, as you can obviously clearly see. And much like the game, Guts Man is one of the largest of the Robot Masters. And again, very nicely presented here in his red, the orange, and the very dark black. The panel lining really does a great job of also making these look as if they've just been sucked out of the game. And now we physically have them in hand. Now, the Mega Man only has a hinge on the one arm. I love the fact that they even have articulation. Uh, I would like had they made a, something where there would have been a hole, say, right there. You can plug this in, obviously, on the top, but I would have also liked a hole here as well that you could have plugged the bomb here. It's not so much this Mega Man, because this Mega Man it has the hyper bomb. It'd be interesting, though, to see how it works with the other Mega Mans, especially like the Mega Man and the Gut Man le uh, level set because he is he is the traditional blue bomber i'm wondering if they probably put a little hole here there as opposed to on the top because i guess this is how mega man throws the bomb in the game uh gut man does have posability on both arms so he doesn't have just the one that mega man has and again you can have it on both sides flip him around and then for good measures we can just plug this into place as well Again, I absolutely love these. I think they're so super cool. Um, currently, Jack Pacific's got a whole ton of Mega Man slated products. Definitely wanted to look at this one first, but they've also got a larger Mega Man as well, which I think has lights and sounds. Uh, these are currently available now in retail stores if you're interested in picking this one up. Definitely something that a Mega Man fan will want to add to their collection. Now, if somebody had asked me, you're a big fan of Mega Man, <laughs> yeah. What kind of collectibles would you like to see based on the original 8-bit video game series? This is exactly the answer I would give them. Jack Specific somehow has managed to pull deep inside my brain and extract the kind of neat collectibles that I wish we could have had years ago. Here we have recreations of Mega Man packing with the Hyper Bomb attacking Gut Man on his own level. The cardboard background diorama display is the nice icing on the cake to display the figures with. I admit that the figures do fall off a little bit just because the cardboard that they used is a little on the smoother side, but it's a great way to display both figures. Notice, though, that of the figures that we looked at on the back of the box, we have Guts Man, we have Cut Man, we have Elec Man, and we have Fire Man. The only ones that are missing are Ice Man and, of course, Bomb Man. The fact that we have gotten ourselves Mega Man with this Hyper Bomb, I hope we will also get the other two, I think it's the other two, level bosses also from Jack Specific. Again, absolutely fun collectible, superposable. Like I said, it's double-sided, which is also a nice touch as well. If you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, the Mega Man 8-bit Mega Man and Mega Bosses are available now in retail stores if you're interested in picking this one up for yourself. Jack's Pacific is also slated, like I said, to be releasing a whole bunch of other Mega Man Mega goodies, and hopefully I'll be able to cover those on this channel for you as well. Today we were having a look at the Jack's Pacific Mega Man, and this was Mega Man with Hyper Bomb versus Guts Man. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so as more mega goodness and more products from Jack Specific will be coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.